Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 5. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series. So, I got a cosplay outfit for Trevor here. I thought that that would match this to the best of my ability. I hope you guys like it. And I also have other Trevor cosplay that I'm gonna be um, uh, dressing up as well as Michael, more Michael and Franklin cosplays. I play through it. You guys are gonna see some crazy outfits on this playthrough. So, hope you guys are enjoying this. Let's continue from where we left off here. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash, hail belly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. I like how he calls him spreadsheet. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international <laughs> drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Huh? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. So yeah, this is Trevor as his, his insane rage moment here. Go to the O'Neill Brothers farm. So this is one of the most uh, Trevor's most insane moments, and um, uh, this is from the trailer as well. The O'Neill brothers, as you guys, most people know them from GTA Online, but they're originally in the single player. Um, the O'Neill brothers are um, a, a family of tons of brothers, that, and they have dozens and dozens of brothers. They have this um, big meth lab that's up in Grape Seed at their farmhouse. Oh yeah, here we go. Trevor Phillips! Elwood O'Neill! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, fella! You wanna discuss it? We're at the farm! Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us! Start writing those names on tombstones! Cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got! When I'm done! Mm. Oh, oh, you are going to die! So this is actually one of the stupidest things the O'Neills could have done. Um, and also, in, in real life, you know, this is just, um, this is just a really stupid thing to even do. Um, is imagine that, like, uh, uh, one, uh, one gang that sells meth is about to do a deal with another gang, and then at the last minute, another gang poaches that deal. You know, you know what's gonna happen. There's gonna be really bad blood because of that. And when you're dealing with somebody like Trevor, it's gonna be ten times worse. I just That's... spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect him. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, 
Let's go so they go to protect Chinese their meth door. lab and they leave their uh, house unguarded. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you and I'll torch your cookhouse. That's not that hard of a shot to make. Um, uh, yeah, these guys are idiots. Okay, so you can take a lot of them out quietly. A lot of people completely forget about that. I like how this game, um, GT one thing that GTA 5 does do, I think, better than GTA 4 is it actually has stealth in it. It's stealth's not great, but at least there's some missions where it actually um, uh, gives you that option, which I do appreciate. Okay, let's see. We've taken out a huge amount of them already. Oh, that's it. Yeah, drive off. Okay. Have I killed you them all? See competition in the marketplace. You're all dead. Yeah, I'm a pretty good sniper. Okay. Okay, they spotted us. Here I come, you pricks. We're gonna screw you up. You come in here! Take over time! Let's see if we can cut you down to size. Yeah, that I've killed the vast majority of them with the sniper too. him out of the lab! We gotta break him over! Oh, oh, Jesse, oh, 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 oh. You gonna be buried in the- well, What's that? Looks like there was a glitch there. You assholes! Okay, looks like one was- Okay, there's an invisible O'Neill. So yeah, this is the this is not just GTA expanded and enhanced, but it's GTA 5 glitch and enhanced. Crap, he's head for okay, There we go. Come down here. Stop him. He found Well, look at this. Yeah, meth you lab is extremely this, flammable. Can easily blow up. Also, here's a fact for you guys. Um, uh, G GTA 5 is at least a little bit realistic Come in this storyline because in the U.S., um, in my country, meth is just much meth and meth dealing gangs are just much more common in the countryside than in cities. Um, in, in the countryside, you know, small towns, farms, um, you know, deserts, you know, there fields, you know, you know, places that don't have a lot of population. The illegal drug out there that's more common is meth. In cities, um, typically cocaine is more common than meth. But in the countryside, it's meth that's more common. Okay. Burn, you disrespectful pricks! This is gonna be good now. That's it for the O'Neill operation. Still see the fire from here. 
headshots. All they want, you get a bunch of headshots. Um, at least there's no, um, uh, there's no, um, time limit, but still, it's whatever. I don't go for the 100% on the missions, because I think that makes it kind of crazy, and you can't really enjoy the game at the same time while you're doing it. here you're not even hidden have you got it i've been trying trevor i've been trying come on over here all right i ain't gonna hit you i've been trying i know i know oh i thought you said you weren't gonna hit me i thought you said you were gonna find fucking michael townley there's two Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but <laughs> she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before asked... I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! <laughs> uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money! And tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck so, um, off. Wade's backstory is kind of messed up, um, with how he up, ended up with Trevor. Can... Um, uh, I could pro probably make a lore um, video when I beat the game so, explaining so his backstory with Trevor. Fan? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Okay, I need a car. Um, I don't know where my car is right now. I guess this truck will do. Road trip? Help. We taking this one? Get in! Uh. You ain't too smart, are you? Yeah, if when when NPCs are trying to get their car Where back you? and you don't want to just um, shoot them, Santos. just point your gun at them. That'll scare there, them. Floyd? He bumped in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, This game does look really nice in the rain. Um, guys, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to, well, send them on their way to begin with? So during this mission, it's always raining. Uh, always a big thunderstorm during this mission. Camps up here. I'll wait till dark before I drop in again. He's gonna park that close to them, and they're not gonna see him. The assholes here. They slipped. Ice took a hold of this whole place. Ice is a slang term for meth. Not forgotten, brothers. We'll find that motherfucker. That's possibly Johnny's casket. I got you them bombs and that pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those now are the, my gifts for these pricks. The thing about this is that this mission you can do complete stealth. I'm gonna try my best to do a complete stealth. And also, is um uh, you can actually hear the lost sick. talking about some lore events from the Lost and Damned. I think to get 100% in this mission, you also need to get, um... 
you also need to do it complete stealth too. So you heard that right there. Um, uh, they were just mocking Johnny's um, uh, leadership, and they were saying that um, uh, Billy would have never allowed this to happen. And one of the guys says, "Whatever they said about Billy being a rat, that was always all lies." Um, no, Billy was a rat. Okay, two more bikers have just left. A lot of people forget this, but you can just plant a charge on a wall just by walking up to it. A lot of people forget this. They, they, they just remember that you just throw it. No, you can plant it on the wall if you're close. Just press R2, that's it. Okay. I like to stick outside the fence just to be safe that I'm not going to get spotted by someone. Yeah, Rockstar, I, you know, Rockstar kind of ruined their own, um, Rockstar kind of ruined their own lore, in my opinion, with, um, just the Lost in this game. Possibly Johnny's casket right there. That's the spot. Also, the um, I think the soundtrack is pretty good on this mission, though. Yeah, here in a little bit here. Okay. Now the final trailer. guys right there. But the Lost MC were never this big. There was other chapters, like the Broker chapter, that mostly, they mostly died in the attack on the Diamonds. That's where um, Luis killed most of them in the Ballad of Gay Tony. And there was very few left of the Alderney chapter. So there probably was chapters outside of Alderney, because Alderney is based on New Jersey. A lot of people think they're from Liberty City, but Alderney is, tech is a different state. So these guys are technically from New Jersey. Um, but there could have been chapters in other states as well. But the, the thing about it is that the Lost were never this big. The Angel of Death were so much bigger than them. So like, I just don't like the idea that there's like hundreds of these guys in like GTA 5. They were never this big. We get out of here. Detonate the bombs before leaving the trailer park. This is gonna be good now. 
you can do that whole mission stealth. Yeah, they're not gonna be happy about that. Let's get back to the car now. And also, what I'll tell you about the Lost is, even though the Lost um, uh, MC aren't good guys, the Angels of Death are much worse than them. Like, they're, they are just much worse. Like, if you read the Angels of Death website... Not, not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. Oh, my this Michael family guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him, the federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mindfuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mindfuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye, it's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, P? Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I am about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please, don't turn me into anything! I just want to be Wade! Well, what I was trying to say earlier is that the yet? Angels of Death do no a lot of way. things the Lost are MC don't. The Angels of Death yet? are very racist, they're up. very You're sexist, um, uh, they just commit much story? worse atrocities no than the Lost. The um, if you just it. read the um, Angels you know, of Death website in GTA 4, you'll read some of the bad things that they've done. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral. Hey, hey, hey. How about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr Tr uh, Trisha. Trevor's Trisha talking about himself. Name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. That's it. That giant sprawl. Los Santos. This is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. Uh, I guess it skipped the conversation with, um, uh, with, uh, when he was gonna talk about Trisha, but he was referring to himself and how he met Michael. I'm sorry, guys, I guess it just skipped, skipped the conversation when you get to Los Santos, but, um, Trevor talks about the, to Wade, how he met Michael, basically. So... This is where dead men come back to life. Huh? It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you <laughs> fuck! Around here, what are you doing? Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this Fuji Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Oh, he's gonna yeah, tell yeah. it now. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Mich Michelle. A lady troll? 
Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. He's talking well, about Michael. This was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls and the big bad troll under the... And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I seen it on Icon map. So Brad okay, was their other chips. friend that was at the beginning of the game. Um, so that's Trevor tried to get Go a pilot's license in the Air Force, um, now, uh, but uh, they deemed him Go. unstable, which now, he is. He's insane. Like a rat. Keep it straight now. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! It's up here, Trevor! So now this is where we meet Floyd, and uh, Trevor, like, destroys his Floyd, life too. Me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. <laughs> oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's <laughs> gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. He's gonna you smoke, can't here. smoke here. here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She, she's had a business. Yeah, company. these scenes with Trevor were the funniest in the game. Stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Neverland's bed. A guy would never prove. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right. Ah. Floyd's apartment can now be used as a safe house. You can save vehicles by parking them in the driveway. Yep. So, uh, this is, um, uh, this you can use as a temporary safe house. You eventually lose this as a safe house, but, uh... Oh, headshots. Oh, I almost had 100% in that mission. I was close. The only thing I needed was three more headshots, but, you know, if I didn't need to kill them, I didn't need to kill them. So there was that. Okay, so Michael, Franklin, and Trevor are all available to switch between now. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of this cutscene here. Um, in this cutscene, you see um, uh, Michael's perspective, because a lot of people do this as Trevor, where they go to Michael's house, but if you start the mission as Michael, oh, you actually fuck. see a little bit of this cutscene first here. And then I'll show you um, uh, Trevor's perspective. Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk or you're staring miserably at the clouds or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh yeah, I done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you gotta worry about anymore is what part of your body you wanna have chopped off or sucked out again. Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, go fuck yourself. Michael! <laughs> You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, hey, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you little are you shit? For this? Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. 
What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> oh. Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. No, he hasn't That's been. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael. Come she might disagree with he you. He shouldn't have said that. Jesus Christ, what now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we. What are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! Alright. So now this mission, you play as whoever it is you start the mission with. Um, I started with Trevor, so I'm playing as Trevor. The cutscene you know, is a tiny bit different if you um, uh, start it as Let's Michael or Trevor. A beer in a few hours. Catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss. You got blood under your nails and you look like you've been up for what? A week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The LMOC. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped up plastic slots you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. Now, um, I forgot about this, but there's one thing I missed here. Um... Okay, there's a- you get emails from supposedly Brad when you play as Trevor. Um, I forgot to check Trevor's emails in regards to that. This has gotta be it. Um, the maze bank. Let's go in. Hey! 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 Hey!
It's showtime, kids. You can't park there. Production vehicles only. I'm not looking at you. Come on, you dipshit. So this is a pa parody. Famer Shame is a parody off of America's Got Talent, I believe. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that. Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and... Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. Oh, I hope I don't get a copyright claim for this one now. Yeah, Laszlo is a pervert. Oh, oh, I said that's a lot. Oh, oh, hey, hey, I got security. Security! No. Why don't you fucking oh, say? Come on, big guy. Come on. Right there. No. Come on. No. Oh. No. Come here, you little shit. No. Go home right now, Tracy. So, um, uh... Brick. Trevor cares deeply, actually, for Michael's kids. He cares deeply for Tra uh, Tracy and Jimmy. And uh, he would actually never let anything happen to them. Ah, they told us. We gotta take the truck. Oh, get in the truck, Michael. I got a deposit on that truck. Let's get that brick. Hey, take a left up here. That car that Laszlo is driving, I actually completed Pacific Standard stealing that car once. This kind of get used to stuff. It's cool. For parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flash this dick back. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. See, I can mute, lower this um music volume here. It ain't this. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. Be careful! Yeah, this car truck, we can pretty much ram anything out of the way, too. We gotta go to the left. Oh now remember, he drives into the sewer on this. Ah, the little best is going up to the train tracks. We can have a little fun with him. Well, let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? I saw him turn left! I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Okay, I'm catching up to Laszlo right now. Oh, my controller, worst time too. He's gone round to the right. Okay, yeah, that was my bad there. I didn't realize my controller was so low on battery. Right, up there. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh. Hey. 
We'll get him. We'll get him. But we're sure taking our time about it. Okay, yeah, this is go down into the LS River. I can see that. I hate oh. that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Hey, 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 you guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus... I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Uh, Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or. Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right. All right. Now drop it like it's hot. All right. I want to see you get nice and low. Come on. Lower. Oh, Lower. Come on. Oh. Please don't kill me, okay? Uh -huh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right. come on, no, get no. off. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. Uh, I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Where's Tre Trevor taking that truck? Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Fastest speed, oh, um, 98%, um, uh, bearing down. Okay. I mean, uh, so we were, we were close, though. So I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I'll have the next part up for you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys once again, and take care, everyone.